What's going on guys? Welcome back to another rep. Heading away tomorrow to just north of Rockhampton chasing rooster deer so I've decided to um, put the boom stick away, pick the bow up. Not even going to take a rifle because I'm going to try my very hardest to get one with the bow. So going to have a few practice shots today, work out the drop with my broadheads and all that jazz and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can come up with something over the next couple of days. Stay tuned. driving around all morning, seen one mob. Four hours later, we've come along this road on our way back, we're gonna have some lunch. We stopped to have a look at these does that are just over this other side. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see something moving over here and there's a stag just past that tree there, all by himself. Oh, actually, hold on, there's a doe over there as well. She's just gone over the bank. For once in my life, the wind's in my favour, finally. I can see there's a little riverbed there. So at the moment, he's at 100. If I can make it to the riverbed, that's 50, and then I'll try and get to the tree. Hopefully, he doesn't win me, but I might put an arrow in this bow and get a bit serious, I think. It doesn't even look like moving. Everything's in my favour, so fingers crossed we can come up with the goods. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that wind is howling. But it's howling back this way, so he's got no idea I'm here. This could be the quickest stalk of a lifetime if everything goes alright. I just gotta make it to that creek bed and get down.
40 yards. I've got the shakes up. And that, that next tree will be 30. I'll take my shot from there, but let's wait for this wind to die off. Got the arrow. I think he only went about 30 meters up here, so let's see if we can go find him. Yeah, I got down into that creek there and the wind blew over the top and I think that he looked up so I just stayed down into the creek. Once he put his head back down feeding I made my way up to a tree, got within 30 metres and took a shot. I think I hit him pretty good too. He's not a thumper, but he's alright. We've been driving around for the last four hours, haven't seen a single mob, haven't seen a stag. Coming back home to get a bit of lunch and driving the buggy along, probably about 150 metres here he was in the bush feeding. Turned the buggy off, didn't spook him, got everything ready. Still feeding, so I ended up walking in. He was about 100 meters, got into 30, took a shot, hit him perfect. He ran about 30 meters and down he went. He's not a massive stag, but he's not too bad. His antlers are a bit rubbed off, but got to be happy with that. So we might cut him up, get a bit of meat off him, and possibly cook him up for lunch.
question than that. <laughs> <laughs>